I pulls in the projects. None of us swim. But the jacuzzi, that's Oreo cookie. <laughs> so the Bonte would have jumped off the rope. No, he would not have. No, he would not have. No, he would not have. <laughs> I'm joking, 925, about the black people not swimming, all right? Relax. He's full of baloney. We used to joke about that early in our kid childhood, all right? Relax. Can't we all just have fun? It's a Friday. There's a great movie about black swimmers, matter of fact. What is it? I forget the name of it. Who was in the movie? Uh, I think Terrence Howard was. Oh. Like, so maybe it wasn't Terrence Howard. I forget what the He's movie was. He's got great hair now. He does have great hair. But like, black people swim. Like, I think of the Cuba Gooding Jr. one where he's a diver. With oh, that one, yeah. That was yeah. one, too. Yeah. yeah no, I'm, yeah. I'm kidding. Don't be offended. I'm joking. Can we just joke? Gosh. Don't be so sensitive Why about Why does everyone Friday. have to be offended by everything? Everything. We Can't do. we just laugh a little? Just laugh it. You reap what you sow, brother. I mean, we've been pulling our hair out about minutes and rotations and wins for the Warriors. We've been scratching and clawing to get to the eight seed, and we can't make some jokes? I guess not. Let's go to Parker in the city. Parker, what's going on, man? What's up, guys? Uh, Fonte and Butcher, I've been listening to you guys forever. I know you guys are both legends. Um, I personally think that there is a bunch of holes on this lifeboat, the tire swing, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I don't think you even get out of the, the play-in. I think what's going to happen is literally the entire year I've been watching this team. We blow leads. There's no second score for the team. If you want to tell me that Andrew Wiggins, Kaminga, or Clay Thompson is going to win us a huge game because they're going to sell out to take Seth, just like what happened last year. I just think we've just been beating up on bad teams, and yeah, they've been playing well, but the lifeboat is it's sinking for me, and I'm, I'm waiting for the inevitable loss in the play, and I don't have any faith in this team. All right, what if they win tonight emphatically, okay, and then they get that 7-8 matchup against the Phoenix Suns? You really fear, fear the Phoenix Suns that much? I don't. I guess that's fair. The Phoenix Suns. You know, I'm not going to fear them. But I, I think the main the main issue is like, there's what what is the optimism like? If you have Steph Curry on your team, shouldn't the expectation be an NBA title every season? Like, is I get what happened this season hasn't been great, but the expectation should be like, hey, we're winning the title, and you know we're fighting for the playing spot right now. And even if we beat the Suns, then you know, do you do, do you guys really think this team has any chance of winning a title? And is that is that a good season well, with with I you know, Steph Curry on the team. Quite honestly, I don't, I don't, I'm trying to remember about 2022. I don't know if I thought that was a championship team. If I'm being 100% candid, because Phoenix did. was the better team during the regular right. season, yep. though I didn't believe in them in the playoffs. And then everything shook out the way it did. Yeah. I'm, you know, the expectations for these guys inside their heads, Joe Lacob, Steve Kerr, Steph Curry, Draymond, Clay Thompson, their title or bust. That's, that's their yes, mindset. Yes. Now, how do you get there? How do you do that? Um, you know, oh, I got to send something <laughs> to the chat. I just got something there. Um, so, I, I mean, it's it's good to have those aspirations. These guys are four-time champs. And, like, does it matter for seeding for a team like this? Now, you want to avoid no. Denver, obviously, in the first round. And I get it. It's going to be a tough road to try to win a championship. I'm not even going to go down that road. Try to win round by round. But their expectations, what should our expectations be? I guess that's a better question. Should our expectations be first round? No. It wasn't like that before the season. It wasn't like that last season. Now, the championship year, which you just asked, they got out to the 18, the two-star. We're like, oh, there's a vibe. Yeah, but then there was a And long, then there was a rut yeah. because of the injuries yeah. and Steph and Draymond. You didn't know what Steph was going to look like. But then they went to the playoffs winning five straight games. So I don't know. But here's the other thing, and, and this is what I would tell the caller, like, I hear him on the, shouldn't you be a championship-level team with Steph every year? Okay. Who are some of the greatest players of all time? Just just in, in the NBA. Was Kobe in the championship or bust? Like, what was his team a championship contender every single year of his career? They were not. No. no. Like, even San Antonio, right. which was farther along when Duncan got there, because right. remember, they had Sean Elliott, they had Dave Robinson. They weren't championship every right. single year. Right. I, I LeBron mean, James has been very close. Michael Jordan, very close to that. And it is diluted. And I would say magic as well with the nine finals. Appearance. It is diluted, realistic expectations. Most people's careers play out more like Dirks of the right, great players right. where they fight tooth and nail and they fall short. And then eventually they, they, they break through and he had two finals appearances. Right. All right. Um, Reggie Miller, who we were just talking about, one of the greatest, I know we forgot about, one of the greatest players ever. Look at Steph's contemporaries. The only guy who even comes close to his is LeBron. You know, 
Everyone else falls short. I just say it's time for you to do the legal. I just don't get. Like I, I just get don't the, get the whole conversation. I never subscribe to this. I I just don't. I can't wrap my head around it. You're wasting Steph's prime. You think Joe Lacob started away seasons spending the money he's spending on his team? No. Now you could disagree with the way he spends his money. We could disagree with the way they drafted players. Mm -hmm. You could disagree with some of the veterans they brought in. But what? When you have the most expensive roster in the NBA year after year, and you're in a tax year after year, mm -hmm. and the NBA changes its rules because of you. Like, we've got two teams in the Bay Area that's changed the cap. Eddie DeBartolo and the 49ers changed the NFL. And you got the you got Joe Lacob changing the tax and the way we look at the first apron and the second apron and all that stuff. Anything, like, that to me screams they're trying to win. Yeah. I mean, they made the Kelly Oubre deal, and even Joe Lacob admitted, you know what? Some of the moves we made that season probably wasn't the best. But that move screwed to me. is like, he's not trying to waste the season. He's trying to maximize Steph Curry mm -hmm. and Klay Thompson mm -hmm. and Draymond Green or whatever else here. So I don't, I've never subscribed to it. I don't get that. Like, we're wasting Steph Curry's prime. What? Like, the team does things that screams, we want to win at the highest level. Now, it may not work out. I, I just, just don't, I don't so, get it. No, but I don't, I don't it, get it, that dialogue it, at it, all. No, I think, I think it's, it's perpetuated by the first take and social media era that we live in, right? Like, again, LeBron has been to nine finals, ten finals, mm -hmm. right? Whatever it is. Steph has been to how many finals, Ponte? How many finals has Steph been to? Six. Okay. It's pretty damn incredible. <laughs> All right. How many has Kawhi been to? It's been to one. He's been to three. Okay. Paul George, zero. Okay. Yeah. Chris <laughs> Paul, one. One. Yeah. Russell Westbrook. One. Mm -hmm. Kevin Durant. Three. Three finals. Okay. Or four, 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 four. One with OKC. That's right. Forgot yeah. about that one. Um, Again, look at his guy. How about James Harden? He'd been to the one when he was winning OKC. Has it been back since? Jason Tatum and, and Jalen Brown. How many one. of the Yeah, exactly. Okay. Jimmy Jimmy Buckets has been to one. All right. So now if you want to count yeah. the bubble. You know, but so like look at the contemporaries. He he dwarfs all of them. I would subscribe to that. If he had never been to a finals, yep. or they only went to one, mm -hmm. they've been to six. Right. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't subscribe. Like social media will have a dialogue. That, oh, Joe Lakers wasting Steph Curry's prime. No Warriors are wasting his prime. I, the Yankees <laughs> right now would die to be as successful as the right. Warriors were. The Yankees and they're spending the, all this money the and they're Dodgers making trades. Absolutely, would die to be as successful. I, I the just, New England Patriots, the last however many, even though they have the and, three championships, and, would die to be the Warriors. And if any teams out there, like we always talk about this with the Niners, boy, if they get into the playoffs, they're going to wreck shop in the NFC, they match up with anybody. Why can't we say the same about a Steph Curry leg go to say Warriors team? I, that I is one championships have been through all the wars. Down 3-1, up 3-1, game seven was on the road, pivotal game sixes, clinching championships Steph being on the hurt, road. coming off the bench. I mean, come on, man. If any team deserves the benefit of the doubt. Why wouldn't it be the go to state Warriors? Now I get it. Jonathan Kamiga hasn't played big time minutes in the playoffs. There's going to be a learning curve. Pods has never played the playoff game. There's going to be a learning curve. Same thing for TJD. But you do have to trust the agents in the big three, as well as Andrew Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins proved in the playoffs you can count on the guy. Well, Patrick Mahomes is being compared to Steph Curry, correct? Yep. All right. At any point this year, did anybody – think that the Chiefs were going to be the Super Bowl champions during the regular season. Everybody was doubting them. And what I keep saying, I, I'm not going to... You asked Spadoni. <laughs> Spadoni was like, yeah, Patrick Mahomes I'm about taking him in them. every matchup. Not bad against them. They had their least successful regular season with Patrick Mahomes, got into the playoffs, and went on a run. And won two row playoff games. Which has been unheard of. In Baltimore and in Buffalo. And then won in overtime. Yep. Against a team that was favored. So... I put them in the same category of the Kansas City Chiefs. Until they get knocked out, and until the, right. the stake is through the heart, don't count out Dracula. I mean, last year was a horrific year in terms of team chemistry, and we've heard Draymond Green say he, he didn't even want to go to work. By the way, did you guys get five to 95 seven? I'll send it to you guys. Uh, and they still made the second round and took the Lakers to six. And you look at game four. They tied a series of game four. Now, I get it. The Lakers were a better, they were a better team in that series. No doubt about it. And they all said they maximized that team or whatnot. But still finished up in the final eight because of the Steph Curry effect. What was so, that? What and now was, he's got better talent around him. What was that guy's fourth quarter? What was his Lonnie name? Walker, Lonnie fourth. Walker. Jesus Had the fourth quarter of his life. Where's Lonnie Walker playing this year? Wasn't he in Brooklyn? <laughs> Unbelievable. The Lonnie Walker game. Unbelievable.
So if anybody deserves a benefit of the doubt, why not? The, we're giving it to the Lakers. They won the bubble championship. But why are we doing it? Because of LeBron James. And Anthony Davis. Right. And that's it. And so Steph Curry's not getting that same respect? Uh, well, Steph and Clay, and Dre and CP3. And Looney? And Wig, say what you want. Wiggins is the second best player during the championship run. He was. And now he's starting well, to pick up his defense. I mean, if you look at Anthony Davis's playoffs, I mean, really, he had the one bubble run that right. was his best run. That was it. Equivalent to Wiggins's title run. Right. And we're still giving AD all that all that love. Although I believe him to be the superior look, player. You're right about Chris Paul. He's been through a lot of wars. Dude, a lot just, of wars. Look, he's lost, but like. He's been in Western Conference Finals, yeah, Game 7s, I mean, come on. Finals, he up 2 0. Beat the Warriors in a Game 7 with the Clippers. Yep. And lost to them. Where so he there you go. didn't play. He didn't play. So it is what it is, man. I, I don't know, man. I, I feel good. If they can win tonight, just win tonight, get into that 7 8 game, and you get that 7 seed, you don't think OKC or Minnesota is going to be like, damn, we got to play the Warriors? Like, there's a little, they're going to see Steph and the Warriors, and they grew up watching these guys win championships. SGA and, and Chat. I mean, they're very young. Very young. What behind the ears? And those those seven game matchups are just difficult. They're very different than the regular season. All right, here you go. You don't know Jack.